My name is Ian Kaylori and I'm at what's up, Cycle Furniture and based in North London. My heritage is uh, Nigerian. So I finished uni, I think in 2009, uh, did a degree in project design and furniture. And then while I was doing a project called um, Our Chair, and um, we had to get two chairs and upcycle into one new piece. And um, I was inspired by an artist called Mantino Gampa. I think he's an Italian designer and he's like really good about cycling. So he did like a project called 100 Chairs in 100 Days. And he upcycled basically 100 chairs in 100 days. And it's basically all chairs that he sort of found and upcycled, which was for me was amazing because each chair had a different story to sort of tell. And then from there was when I just sort of fell in love with the whole sort of idea of upcycling and the sort of narrative you can, you, can, you can sort of find from each piece and how it tells a story. Um, and that's just how I sort of fell on, that's what I wanted to do and that's why I sort of specialised in sort of upcycling and make, making furniture. So while growing up, my, I was inspired by uh, my culture, um, being, being Nigerian and sort of having that, being British and being Nigerian at the same time, so I'm having to sort of merge cultures together and not knowing how to sort of express my culture through, I don't know, through maybe what I was wearing or maybe what, what I was eating or, I don't know. So I thought the best way for me was to, you know, was to upcycle furniture and in that way I could sort of tell my sort of narrative and my story through my work. And um, so I was inspired by the fabrics that my parents wore, the parties that they used to go to and how they used jewellery and sort of like adornments and their fabrics that was, you know, like, that was Dutch wax. But they use it in the way of sort of, you know, like saying, I'm African, I'm Nigerian, this is how I'm, this is my culture. And for me it was interesting because those prints were not from Nigeria. They were from like, you know, Switzerland or they were like Dutch bikes, but it was a way of sort of, you know, like showing identity. And that's how, that's what inspired me to sort of, you know, like bring my culture into my work and upcycle furniture and try and tell a story. The piece I'm going to show is collaboration with Laduma. Um, that came about through um, a young woman called uh, Kathy Shanoi, and she curated the event called Africa, Africa Calling. So I've never ever heard of Laduma at all, never didn't know he, he was such an amazing you know, fashion designer. And she said, oh, I've got this amazing guy called Laduma, he's, um, he's amazing, you guys are really well together. And I was like, oh really? Um, and it was still sort of really short notice, and then I looked at his work and I was like, wow, his work is phenomenal. And I said, we have to work together. And um, so we had like one Skype conversation, like one or two Skype conversations quite quickly, he's really busy. And um, so we had, and then he said, oh, you know, we could do this. And he told me, he spoke to me a bit more about his work and how he sort of got into sort of making fashion, you know, how he got into fashion. And it was his, I think it was, his, it was his grandmother who gave him the sort of skill to sort of, you know, like design knitwear and gave him that, gave him, you know, his story, his style, his heritage. And I felt, there was a sort of, we had a bit of a connection in terms of sort of narrative, sort of the background, his way of sort of telling stories through his work. And I was really excited to work with him and then that's how the piece sort of came together. And um, so the piece is called Ogun, which means heritage. And I think we both have a strong heritage about our culture and what we're trying to sort of do through our work. So the two feet on the chair, I've got one leg, which is a white leg, which represents the, 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 um, the, the, the wide boar and the other leg represents the elephant who hasn't got any teeth and it's basically showing that a lot of people have things and they, you know, and they don't appreciate it but they're, sort of, they're damaging things. For example, you could have a nice pair of trainers and you're, you're ruining them because you can afford them but someone who wants them would, would treat them differently, look after them differently. So we, I think a lot of people have a lot of, you know, like, they have, they have a gift and people want that gift but they don't look after it in the right way. So those legs are sort of, they're, they're a parable sort of trying to tell people a story and trying to teach people a lesson. And with Ladumi's sort of story, for me, the, the, the patterns on the, on, the, on, the, on the knitwear, for me, told me that story about the, about, the, about the parable, and that's how it sort of came together. So he spoke to me a bit about his parable and how his, sort of his story, his narrative, and then we sort of built the two together, and that's how the chair um, came together. So my Nigerian heritage comes into my work through um, my culture, my sort of, uh, my Yoruba background. Uh, my, mom, my parents are from Yoruba, well, Nigeria, my mum's from Ondo State in Nigeria and the fabrics that my mum uses for like weddings or sort of coronations and just to sort of just just the way they eat the way they talk just the whole sort of spectrum of the culture for me is very inspirational and brings that's what I use in my in my work so I think for me it's, it's just the vibrant colours and um, the textiles just that heritage that my parents sort of introduced me to from an early age and which I didn't appreciate when I was young so I didn't I didn't know much about my culture it's such a beautiful country and it's, you can, there's a lot to take, take from, you know, from, from the heritage and from the motherland. So I think for me it's just the colours, the fabrics, the food, just everything about my culture inspires me about my work. <laughs>